those who have joined the class may give their attendance in the chat box i repeat those who have joined the class may give their attendance in the chat box so i can see that uh, around 12 people have joined the class so let us not waste the time just give me a minute so that i can present my screen Can anyone respond whether my slides are visible or not? Yes, sir, visible. Okay, thank you. Okay, so good morning to all of you. Uh, if you remember, in the last lecture, what we did was. we discussed the factors that affect the endurance limit of a material that is surface finish factor ka size factor kb reliability factor kc and uh, Sir, your voice is not audible. Yes, sir, you are not audible. Hello, now yes, I am sir. audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So what I was telling is that uh, if you remember in the last class, what we did was we discussed the factors on which endurance limit of a material depends. Basically, endurance limit of a material depend upon four basic factors. They are surface finish factor. size factor reliability factor and modifying factor to account for stress concentrations and in the last class we have also seen how to calculate these factors by the help of design data book and with this we have uh, solved one problem we we in the last class we discussed that normally a fatigue problem is designed in two ways if a uh, life of the component is infinite then how to design that component and if the life of a component is finite then how to design that component if you remember in the last class we have did one problem comprising of designing of a component on the basis of infinite life today we will solve a problem in which the life of a component is finite then how to design that component so let us start the today's class with this particular topic <clears throat> so the next part is if a component is having some finite life say a component is failing after uh, 10 to the power 3 cycles after 10 to the power 4 cycles or after 4 hours or after 10 days that means you can say that the component is having some finite life so when a component is having some finite life then on the basis of fatigue how the failure occurs so when any component is subjected to a finite life condition then we take the help of sn diagram to design the component if you see the rightmost diagram rightmost diagram is what it is nothing but sn diagram and we know that in sn diagram is plotted on a log log paper that is on x axis you will have log base 10 of n n represent the number of cycles to failure and y axis represent log base 10 sf what is sf sf is the fatigue strength corresponding to a particular 
life of a component so it is plotted on a log log paper and remember uh, the base of the log is 10 so whenever you are solving problem by the help of this sn curve you need to take the base of the log as 10 throughout is it clear so far any doubt so yes, far yes sir clear okay. sir so the very first step uh, very first uh, step in designing uh, any component that is having some finite life is as follows. First step is you have to locate point A in the graph. I can see that coordinate point of A is what? Coordinate point of A is 3 because this is my x axis this is my x axis and this is my y axis so since this sn diagram normally it starts from 0 normally it starts from 0 but here i have taken 3 so whenever since it is starting from 0 so whatever extra value you are taking that you have to minus it from the origin is it clear to all of you yes sir yes sir okay. Fine. <clears throat> so first step is locate point A. So if you see in the SN diagram, point A is having x coordinate 3, comma. What is the value of y coordinate? Value of y coordinate is nothing but log base 10 times of 0.9 times of SUT. This we have uh, found out from the experiment that we have did by in fatigue testing machine that this uh, starting point of the graph normally takes place at this value. So the y coordinate will be log base 10 of 0.9 times of SUT. SUT will be given to you in the problem. Multiply it with 0.9. Take base 10 log of that particular value. You will get the y or uh, y coordinate point is it clear the first point yes sir second point is since i know that in sn diagram there will be a certain point where the material will get completely failed by fatigue at that time the maximum stress present in the material is which stress endurance limit stress so i need to determine the point b in the graph coordinate point b in the graph because from point b if you see the line is parallel to x axis that means at point b the failure of the component has been taken place by fatigue after that after uh, this point if you increase the number of cycles for the component it will show only one single value that is the endurance limit value fine so the next step is calculation of or that is the calculation of coordinate point b i can see uh, the coordinate point b will have x component as how much 6 and y component is how much y component is nothing but this particular value this length that is log base 10 se again se might be given to you in the problem it may not be given to you so then by some means firstly i have to calculate se then i have to take log base 10 of se that will give us the y coordinate value of point b so this is your step number two, that is locate point B. Is it clear to all of you? Any doubt so far? No, sir. Okay. So once you got the point A and point B, you can you know that the line between A and B will be a straight line and from point B, the line will be parallel to X axis. So just draw this graph A, B and this straight line parallel to X axis. I have drawn this graph. Fine. So third step is what? Third step is join AB 
which is used as a criteria for failure for finite life problems. Now, next step is since if you read the topic, the topic is design of a component when that component is having some finite life. That means the component which you are designing in the problem, it has been told to you that this particular component is taking say 10 to the power 4 cycles in order to achieve the first fatigue crack. That 10 to the power 4 cycle is what? That is nothing but the life of the component. After 10 to the power 4 cycles, how much load you apply? Fine. Fatigue failure has been taken place already. So in question, what will be given to you? In question, the life of the component will be given to you in terms of cycles. It can be 785 cycles, it can be 12,500 cycles, it can be 1000 cycles likewise. And if you see in x-axis, it is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What are these values? These values are nothing but log base 10n is 2, 3, comma, 4, comma 5. So if I say uh, the log base 10 n value is 5, then what will be the number of cycles? Can you tell me? If log base 10 n is equal to 5, then n is equal to how much? n is equal to how much? n is equal to 10 to the power 5 cycles because I know that log base 10 of 10 to the power 5 is what? It is nothing but 5 and this 5 is this value. Similarly, log base 10 of 10 to the power 4 is what? It is nothing but 4. By property, I know. By property of logarithm, I know. And this 4 is what? This value. So that means this 3, 4, 5, 6 is what? It is log base 10 of n is equal to that particular value. That is log base 10 of n is equal to this value 6, value 7, value 5. It can be in between 5 and 6. It can be in between 4 and 5. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> So, fine. So, in the in this particular uh, problem, this life is given to you and that life is varying in between 4 and 5. That means the component which I am designing for fatigue, it might be having a finite life which ranges between 10 to the power 4 cycles to 10 to the power 5 cycles. Fine. Let us take any value in between 10 to the power 4 cycles to 10 to the power 5 cycles in between that, in between any value that is the finite life value for the component. Fine. That means I know this, uh, uh, I know this coordinate point, I know the x coordinate point of this particular value. That is how much? That is nothing but log base 10 n. That means this particular value is log base 10 n. It can be any value between 4 and 5. So when I know this particular component corresponding to this particular finite life of the component, what is the fatigue strength of the component? That I can, I have to find out. How I will find out? Then if I know this uh, coordinate point, that is x component of this coordinate point. Now, in order to find out what is the value of y component corresponding to this finite life fatigue failure. For that, what I will do from this point, I will go vertically upward till line AB. F is the intersection point of line AB. Then from F, I have to go towards the negative X direction on till this Y axis line, where it intersects on, on this Y axis line. If you see this uh, negative line, this, this line which I am drawing towards negative X axis, it is intersecting this Y axis at point E. 
it is intersecting at point E. So you now this particular value, this particular coordinate point value. If I talk about y-axis, it will be how much? It will be log base ten of SF. SF is what? SF is fatigue strength of any component corresponding to that particular fatigue life. For this particular component, the fatigue life is defined as n and that n varies between 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 cycles. That means log base 10 n varies between 4 to 5. I am assuming this point corresponding to this fatigue life. What is the fatigue strength present in the component? So for that, what I have did from this point, I went vertically upward till point F. F is the intersection point of line AB. From point F, I will go in negative X direction. Fine. And this line is parallel to your X axis line. Till which point? Till that point where it will intersect the y axis. This is that particular point. Now, if I can calculate this particular length, this y axis, if I can calculate this particular length somehow, then this particular length is what? This particular length is nothing but log base 10 of SF. Say log base 10 of SF comes out to be something. Then what will be the fatigue strength? Fatigue strength SF will be anti log base 10 of that something value. And I will get the answer. So how I can find out this particular distance? This you can find out by the help of similar triangles. You can see that there are two similar triangles. One is triangle AEF and another one is triangle ADB. See, this is AEF and triangle ADB. Then by the concept of similar triangle, I can write that AE, that is AE divided by AD is equal to EF, EF divided by DB, divided by DB. By similar triangle, I can find it out. Then from this relation, I got AE is equal to how much? This AE is equal to AD into EF divided by DB. What is AD? This is AD. AD will be how much? AD will be log base 10 point 0.9 times of SUT minus log base 10 SE. That will be your AD. What is your EF? EF will be C. This is your this particular value. This particular log base 10 N. This will be given to you in the problem. This particular value minus 3. Why I am doing it minus? Because the graph is starting from 0. Here I am drawing the SN diagram from x3. So this will be this value minus 3. You will get the value of EF divided by DB. DB will be how much? This is your DB. DB will be this 6 minus 3. That will be dB. You get the value of AE. Now, once you get the value of AE, once you get the value of AE, I want this value. Let us assume that this is O. I want EO because EO is equal to log base 10 SF. How I can calculate EO? I know that AE, AE plus EO, AE plus EO is equal to how much? Is equal to AO. AE plus EO is equal to AO. Then EO. EO will be how much? EO will be AE. That is AE already I know. Sorry, uh, the AE just now I have calculated from the similar triangle concept. So that is AE. So EO is, sorry, AO minus AE. And what is AO? AO is how much? This is this particular value. Log base 10 point nine times of SUT. That is AO minus this AE. AE that we have found out from the similar triangle concept. So we got the value of EO. And this EO is how much? It is nothing but equal to log base 10 SF. So SF is how much? Anti-log base 10 of that EO value.
Likewise, you can find out the fatigue strength of any component which is having some finite life. Now it will be much more clear to you once we solve one problem. So is the concept clear how we are doing it? Any yes, doubt? Any doubt so far? No, sir, clear. Okay, so let us take a problem and see how we can design a component. Designing a component means how we can find out the fatigue strength of a component if it is having some finite fatigue life. Okay, so let us solve one problem. Okay. Let us read this problem. The problem tells you that a rotating bar made of steel 45 C8 SUT equal to 630 Newton per millimeter square is subjected to a completely reversed bending stress. The corrected endurance limit of the bar is 315 Newton per millimeter square. Calculate the fatigue strength of the bar for a life of 90,000 cycles. Now, by reading this question, one thing which come in my mind is, see, it is written in the problem that calculate the fatigue strength of the bar for a life of 90,000 cycles. That means this problem belongs to a finite life fatigue problem since the life is given. So if a life is given to you, that means I have to use which uh, graph to solve the problem i have to use the sn diagram so before uh, drawing the sn diagram first let us see what all data is given in the problem so sut is given that is 630 newton per millimeter square and the corrected endurance limit of the bar endurance limit means se is given to you that is se is equal to 315 newton per mm square and what else it is given to you life of the bar is given to you that is 90000 cycles and this 90000 cycle is n it is not log base 10 n is it clear is it clear to all of you this 90,000 cycles is your N. It is not log base 10 N equal to 90,000. This is wrong. Only N is 90,000. Is it clear to all of you? Hello? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Fine. Okay. So... Yes. So, first step is what? Construction of SN diagram. Fine. I know SN diagram is plotted on a log log paper. On X axis, it is log base 10 N. And on Y axis, it is log base 10 SS. Fine. So, very first step is what? Very first step is calculation of coordinate point A. And I know that this coordinate point A is how much? In X axis, it is 3. And in Y axis, it is how much? In Y axis, it is log base 10, 0.9 times of SUT. So let us first find out what is log base 10, 0.9 times of SUT. That is log base 10, 0.9 into SUT is 630. So if you solve this expression in your calculator, you will get the ordinate value as 2.7535. That means coordinate value of point A is done. That is the Y coordinate is 2.7535. Is it clear to all of you? Any doubt so far? Any doubt so far? No, sir. Okay. So, I got this value. This 2.7535 is what? It is nothing but this much distance AO. It is nothing but this much distance that is AO. So, let us write somewhere over here. It is nothing but AO. Vertical distance. Okay. Fine. Next is... 
next is the calculation of coordinate point b and i know this coordinate point b is having how much uh, distance along x axis what is the coordinate along x axis for coordinate point b tell me the coordinate value of x axis what is the coordinate value of point b for x axis sir 6 yes it is 6 it is very much clear that see this x is 6 if you take from the origin it is 6 so x is 6 comma y y is nothing but just now we have seen this y value is nothing but log base 10 times of se and se is given in the problem that is 315 so log base 10 of 315 is the y coordinate of point d and that log base 10 of se that is log base 10 of 315 is coming out to be 2.4983 that means uh, this coordinate point b coordinate point b is 6 Six comma uh, it is six comma two point four nine eight three six comma two point four nine eight three. But if I talk about coordinate point D, it will be three because in X it is three. It will be coordinate point D will be three comma Y is same because D and B are at same height. So y is the same value two point four nine eight three. That means that means uh, this much distance from this much distance is your two point four nine eight three. That means D O D O is your two point four nine eight three. So let us write somewhere over here that this distance is nothing but D O. Which is equal to two point four nine eight three. Is it clear so far? Any doubt? Any doubt so far? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, next one more data is given to you in the problem. Which data? This number of cycles to fatigue failure is given to you. That is how much? Ninety thousand cycles. That means from this data, I can understand that which value is given to me. That is log base ten of n. And this n is how much? This n is Ninety thousand. Yes or no? Log base ten of ninety thousand because n is given to you. N is the number of cycles to failure. So if you take the uh, log base ten of ninety thousand, that value is coming out to be four point nine five eight two. And if you see in the diagram, this log base ten n value is nothing but the x coordinate value. So the this value four point nine five eight two is what? It is nothing but the x coordinate value. so from the diagram it is very much clear that this 4.9582 is very close to the 5 yes or no 4.9582 is very close to 5 yes sir that means uh, that means this is that particular point assume that this particular point is your 4.9582 now corresponding to this point in my y axis i have to find the fatigue strength that is what it is given in the problem calculate the fatigue strength of the bar for a life of 90000 cycles so corresponding to log base 10 90000 the x coordinate i got as 4.9582 now corresponding to this value what is the value in y coordinate in order to get the fatigue strength so for that what i have to do i have told you just now that from this particular point i have to draw a vertical line in such a way that 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 this vertical line will intersect on this line ab let that intersection point is f 
from that f i have to go towards the negative x axis till which point till the intersection of my y axis which is nothing but my point e now my task is to find out my task is to find out eo my task is to find out the length eo this is e this is o this is my eo because this is your o and this is your e and this eo is nothing but log base 10 sf log base 10 sf log base 10 sf so once i get the value of eo i will take the anti log of that value base 10 i will get the fatigue strength present in the component when the component is failing at 90000 cycles so now by some concept i have to find out the value of eo and which concept will i use again i have to use the similar triangle concept you can see that uh, in this problem two similar triangles are there one is triangle a e f and another one is triangle a d b is it clear to all of you so far yes sir so let us take these two similar triangles and by the property of similar triangles i can write that ae that is ae for the triangle aef divided by ad for the big triangle that is adv is equal to base of the smaller triangle that is ef divided by base of the bigger triangle that is db then from this expression see this point e i don't know so i can calculate the value of ae ae will be how much ae will be ad into ef divided by db is it clear to all of you hello Yes, sir. It's clear. Yes, sir. No? Okay. So let us find out the value of AE. So AE is what? AE is EF into AD by DB. So first I have to find out the value of EF from the graph. So can you tell me from the graph what is the value of EF? From the graph, please let me know what is the value of EF. Let's see how you have understood the problem. Tell me the value of EF from the graph. EF will be how much? EF will be this distance from the origin. Let this is be the origin, 0, 0. So this distance minus uh, this distance that will be my ef now tell me what will be the value of ef what will be the value of ef ef will be that means this length already i know that is 4.9582 minus 3 yes or no this EF, this yes, EF yes. will be this 4.9582 minus 3. Hoga ki nahi hoga? Yes, sir. Deko EF is 4.9582 minus 3. Now, AD. Calculate AD from the graph. Tell me what is the value of AD from the graph? AD. Sir, uh, 2.7535 minus 2.4983. Yes, correct. Very good. It is how much? AD. AD means uh, this much minus this much. That will be my AD. So, this much is 2.7535. 
and this small one is your 2.4983 so ad will be 2.7535 minus 2.4983 2.7535 minus 2.4983. Is it clear to all of you how we have calculated AD from the graph? Yes, sir. Okay. Next is DB. Tell me what is DB from the graph? DB. So it would be 6 minus 3. Yes, it will be 6 minus 3. How? Sir, from the x axis, we have to just. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. That means I know that uh, this is my origin somewhere over here. But normally we draw a send diagram from 10 to the power 3 cycle. This is my origin. So this uh, dB will be this distance. This much distance. Minus uh, this much distance. This will be dB. And this much distance is 6. Because this distance is 6. And this much distance is 3. So 6 minus 3 is 3. So I got the value of dB. Six minus, so if I solve this expression, I will get the value of AE. And that value of AE is coming out to be 0.16657. Is it clear to all of you? Any doubt yes, so sir. far? So AE, I got 0.16657. That is AE, I got 0.16657. Now, there are two ways by which you can calculate EO. By which you can calculate EO. The first way is what I have solved in the problem. It is a little bit uh, longer process. Just two steps more you need to add. That is, that is if I see from the diagram ED, ED, this ED is how much? Mm. Yes, this is ED and this ED is equal to FG. See, this ED is equal to FG. It is how much? AD minus AE. AD. That is AD. This is your AD. AD minus AE. This AD minus AE will give you ED, which is equal to FG. So let us find out what is AD. AD is what? AD is 2.7535 minus 2.4983. That is AD. See, 2.7535 minus 2.4983 minus AE. And AE, just now we have calculated 0.16657. If I solve this expression, I will get the value of ED, which is equal to FG, that is 0 0.08863. Is it clear to all of you? It yes, is sir. 0.08863. It is, is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Clear. Right. So this is ED. That means I got the value of ED. Again, from the diagram, I can write that EO is equal to ED plus DO. EO. That is, this is my EO. This I need to find out. EO. This is EO, which I need to find out. It is equal to ED. This is ED plus DO. See, EO is equal to ED plus DO. What is ED? ED just now we have calculated. That is 0 0.08863 plus DO. What is DO? What is DO? DO is nothing but uh, this particular value. DO is nothing but this particular value because this is your 2.4983. See, that is the 2.4983. So EO is how much? EO is equal to ED, that is 0 0.08863 plus 2.4983. That is EO is how much? 2.58693. That is EO is uh, how much? 
So E O I got that is two point five nine something. This is this E O. This E O. And uh, this E O is nothing but equal to log base ten S F. This E O is nothing but equal to log base ten S F. So in place of E O E O, I can write log base ten S F equal to two point five eight six nine three. Or S F is equal to anti log base ten of uh 2.58693 when you will solve it in calculator you will get the fatigue strength of the bar coming out to be 386.30 newton per millimeter square at 90000 cycles at 90000 cycle this is that fatigue strength that the bar will sustain before fatigue failure is it clear to all of you any doubt in the problem no sir okay this was one method in which i have calculated additionally this ed and fg without calculation of ed and fg also i can solve this problem how i can solve see uh i got ae so i got ae let us write it down ae that means this ae i got what i need to find out i need to find out eo i need to find out this eo but i know that ao ao is how much ao is ae plus eo so ae plus eo is equal to ao this entire ao so this eo will be how much eo will be ao minus ae and what is ao ao is nothing but 2.7535 ao is 2.7535 minus ae AE just now we have calculated that is point one six six five seven. If you minus AO minus AE, you will get the same value of EOS two point five eight six nine three. Then later on you take the anti log, you will get the fatigue strength value. So either you can use this method or you can use this particular method. Any one method you can use, but it should be a correct method. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay so this is a sample problem which i have shown you and i hope with this problem you might have got an idea that how to design a problem when that uh, particular problem or that particular uh, uh, machine element is subjected to some finite life of cycles that means when a component is subjected to finite life cycles how much is the fatigue strength stored in the specimen before the fatigue failure by the help of stress sorry by the help of your sn diagram okay so so this is all about in today's class so whatever we have done till today starting from the very first day of the class that means the first module second module and almost we have completed 70% portions of the third modules so 3.70 you can say so this 3 point entire 3.70 module will come in your first midterm and i cannot provide you the entire ppt of third module because it is not yet completed 30% portion is left so what i can do is that i can give you the today's class recorded lecture so so far whatever recorded lectures i have given in the third module already i have given to you except this one this i will give you you can refer those uh, recorded lectures you can refer the recorded lectures of the other module ppts of the other module as well as you can refer the book and uh, be prepared for your first midterm and regarding the use of design data book already it is given in your google classroom 
so before the exam just take a print out of that uh, design data book because during the examination you might be uh, using that design data book to find out different factors okay any doubt so far no sir no, no. okay so with this i end my today's lecture over here so let us meet in the next lecture i don't know when the next lecture will happen because from next uh, from monday onwards you are having your mid term okay let us see when it it will happen so if anybody is left to give his or her attendance sir, after mid term will there be puja vacation or uh, it, there will be a puja vacation but that vacation will not be very long period of time hardly those 3 4 days puja vacation will be there because since okay, everything is occurring online in nature so i don't think that there will be much vacation which you normally get in your offline when you attend the offline classes there it will be there it will be though i think 3 to 4 days will be there during those puja days